Grandmeister is a great tool for a lot of people, uh, from teams to single users. It's been a really powerful tool, um, and it's getting even better. So for 2016, um, I'm still recommending this as a great mind mapping product. There's a lot of tools out there that you can use. Um, I just put Mindmeister at the top. I've been using it for about three years now. And its availability on all major platforms um, and its export and import capabilities really put it at the top right now for me. There's, again, several powerful options out there. Um, and if you want to go with something even more powerful, you might want to check out LucidChart. Um, it's definitely more expensive, but it offers some additional capabilities outside of just kind of pure mind mapping. Um, just to review, if you hop over to the MindMeister blog, you can see some of the stuff they've been up to over the past year. Um, obviously, keeping things up to date on their various platforms, um, you know, putting out some good content on how to use it. Um, it's, it's again, it's just powerful. Really like it. Um, that said, if you are not familiar with this, um, it's very easy to use. You can get started in MindMeister quickly. Okay, so you can come in, and if you came in, you would just have a blank. Um, template here. You can choose from one of their many, many templates, which is another nice feature. But I like the plain background. I actually enjoy the way that this looks, and it's easy to get started with. So you would just have this center icon here. And by pressing tab, um, you can get a, uh, what you would call a child off of it. And you can say, you know, this is my subtopic. And if I press enter, I get another subtopic. And if I press tab, I get a you know sub sub topic, all right, and I mean that is it. That's it. It's so easy to use, and then collapse thing around. You can separate them, right? So I can make that its own, or I can uh, put it back as a sub sub topic. All right, so this is really powerful. And then over here, you can see all these options. All right, so this is where you can you know get crazy with it. You can give things different colors. Uh, you can attach items, right? You can attach files. Um, you can add comments to a specific area. And then down here, you can go into presentation modes. You can look at a history view. You can even share the map, um, print, download, export. Um, so this is kind of neat. With exporting, you can do MindMeister formats, FreeMind, MindManager, XMind. Uh, let's see, you can do a PDF. Um, there's a lot you're able to do, image files. So really handy. So again, if you're looking for something to get started with, um, just check them out. Check out MindMeister. You can get a free account, and I believe it's at least a few mind maps you get for free. Um, then the paid uh, versions start pretty cheaply, and if you pay for a year at a time, it works out. I forget. It's something really cheap, though. It's maybe 20 bucks a year, maybe even 10 uh, but just go check it out. And it, you know, It's like a cup of coffee a month or something, <laughs> so pretty powerful for being able to brainstorm and keep all this stuff in one place.